Okay then, today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly set up one of the best Sega Saturn emulators around. And of course, this setup guide is for Ymir. Now, you might not be familiar with this emulator, it's just around under a year old. But the compatibility is very awesome with this emulator. It currently supports between 90 to 95% of the Sega Saturn library. But anyways, we're going to go through all that and what you need exactly to set this up and get you up and running. So of course, we're going to need to emulator itself and this emulator is also going to need some BIOS files as well as CD ROM block file so if you copy exactly what I've got just here which I'm going to use in this video you're going to be fine with this so we're also going to need games now of course some emulators only require say CHD files or ISOs this emulator being Ymir supports a whole range of different file types and this is really awesome news for people who's got particular files. So what we're going to do firstly then is just head over and check out this GitHub page. Now if we scroll down we can get more information on what this emulator actually does and like I say a lot of people is currently raving with this emulator they're loving it and for good reason it really is a decent emulator. If we scroll to the users section what we're going to do is grab the latest version here and the current version of this as a recording this video released just four days ago so we're currently on version 0.2.1 if we scroll down we got more information here and it's also going to tell you the differences between a couple of different versions for windows in particular so if we take a look at the yamira windows section just here you're going to see two versions of this avx2 and sse2 now it does instruct you that if one of these versions aren't working or you get a black screen then down Download the other version. The version which is working for me is SSE2. So in my case, I'm going to download the SSE2 version. But like I just said, if you're getting any issues with that, then download the ABX2 version. Okay, so I've already downloaded your mirror, and what I'm going to do is actually create a new folder on my desktop. Just right click, new folder, and you can call this whatever you like. I'm going to call this Saturn. All you need to do is extract the contents from the zip folder into that new Saturn folder. If we then go into the Saturn folder, what we're going to do is open up your mirror. So just double left click on the executable and more info and run anyway. Now, on your first time of running your mirror, you're going to get a window pop up and it's going to tell us just here where the directories are going to be located. So in my case, I'm going to go for the portable version. I want everything on my desktop within my Saturn folder. So I'm going to go with portable. And that's going to open up your mirror as we can see. Now the first thing we're going to need to do with this is put the BIOS files into the correct location. If I just go to OK and I'm actually going to close out of here. Now if we go back to that Saturn folder we can see a few more folders here have been generated. If we go into the ROMs folder we're going to go into the IPL folder. And what I'm going to do within this ROMs IPL folder is go into my BIOS folder and drag and drop all of my BIOS files in here. And if I come back out, and again, what we're gonna do is open up your mirror again. Okay, so now the BIOS are put into the correct location, we can see that the system has now been booted up. What we can actually do from here is check for updates on startup, or we can even update to nightly builds from here. So what I'm going to do is just select check for updates on startup. Now, for anyone new to emulation, nightly builds are very experimental builds, and you've also got stable builds, which are 100% working. So just take caution with downloading nightly builds that's all i'm gonna say for that if we go to accept and as we can see the top left hand side it said checking for updates now i'm using a nintendo switch controller for this and i've not needed to configure it it's running straight out of the box just fine and we can also set the clock here and what I can actually do just here is just scroll right on my D-pad and that's going to take us down to exit. Okay, so this is the emulator itself up and running. We're going to want to test some games on this. So to load your games up, if we go to file, load disk image, and if I then go into my games folder, 
I can now see I've got Daytona USA and this is in .chd and if I go into Nights into Dreams I can actually use .bin and Q files with this. So for this I'm going to test my Daytona USA .chd just double left click. Now, before the actual game starts, we can actually change settings. If we go to settings at the top, down to video, from here we can actually change aspect ratio and we can also force integer scaling. And if I press the Alt and Enter button on my keyboard, I can get a full screen. Press Alt and Enter to go back into window mode. And I'm gonna correct the aspect ratio on this. So from settings, video, I'm gonna select four by three aspect ratio. If I then press Alt and Enter, Okay, as we can see, that's working perfect. And I've actually muted the sound, and you can do that yourselves if you need to, just by going to settings, down to audio, and from here, you can mute and unmute. But what we're going to do is actually make that pixelated look go away, if that's your thing. We can do this by going to settings, go down to video, and from here, we're gonna force integer scaling. And as you can see, that's decreased in size in the background as I've just done that. But we're gonna get a much nicer image. So like I've been saying, Alt and Enter is gonna take us back into that full screen. Okay, so we can also use save in load states within Yamir, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to load up my other game, which is of course in a .bin.q format. So just go to file, load disk image, and nights into dreams, double left click the image. And what I'm going to do is just go back up to settings, I'm going to go down to video, and I'm going to uncheck the scaling option. Okay, so what I'm going to do is save my progress so far. If I go to File, Save State, I'm going to use the default zero. If I left click on zero, we can see at the top left hand side of the screen, State 1 saved. Now, if I just play around just a little bit, what we're going to do is just test this. So right now I'm on the floor and I'm going to load back my save state. So simply go to File, Load State. And here it is, we've even got the time and date of that save. And here we go, very simple stuff, state one loaded. Now, if you get any problems with your controller not working, like I said, for myself, my Nintendo Switch controller works straight out of the box. If you do get any issues with it, then simply go to settings, general, and from this settings window, if we then go to input, if we go to port 1, we can see just here that this is automatically defaulted to the Saturn control pad. So we can actually change this to say the Saturn 3D control pad. But for me, I'm going to use Saturn control pad. Now, if we then go to configure, we can actually map out these buttons ourselves. 
And if we then go over to hotkeys, we can actually use this function here to map out our own buttons. So for example, if I want to use keyboard buttons for loading states, then I can actually use a combination just here, or even a button on my controller. If we then move over to the general tab, and we just scroll down, we can actually update to nightly builds directly from here. So if I go to update to nightly builds, check now. And there we go, a new version of Ymir is available, so I can then follow the link and that's downloaded the very latest nightly build of it. But like I say, if you're new to emulation, then I would personally stick with the stable releases of this. Now, if you want to delete everything entirely from your mirror and start from fresh, then I'm going to show you how to do this. All we need to do is go into the C drive. And what we're going to do from here is go down to users. In my case, my system folder is Jamie. It's obviously different for you. From here, we're going to look for a folder, which is app data. We're going to go into Roman. And if we scroll down in this Roman folder, we're going to come across a folder known as Striker X3. And of course, this is the developer of Ymir. Now, if we delete that folder, everything is totally gone. And that's how you do that. And that's it for today's Ymir emulator setup guide. So a seriously awesome emulator with 90 to 95% capability of running the Sega Saturn game library. A very awesome emulator. And I look forward to future updates for this one. But anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro content here on my channel, just Jamie. But again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.